wow, you did it. You hung out all the way to step 10. I'm really impressed, guys. This is a short video. Let's talk about step 10 with the taillight decisions, whether you want to convert them or not. I've done both. The badging, you know, people get religious about this stuff. And of course, we need inner fenders, which wasn't too hard. So let's get to it. All right, when it comes to the taillights, I copied what was the 1995, 97, you know, type of look with a single rear backup light there on the left under the license plate, you know. So I fabricated these out of steels and I did this on my 2013. I decided I really didn't like them. You can also see just underneath the rear bumper there, I put in some really bright backup lights to compensate for that. But you know, it came out good, but I'm not really sure it was worth the effort. On the 2008, I already had some really cool aftermarket taillights that I liked much better, so I decided to stay with them. So it's up to you. And as far as badging is concerned, you know, if you want to say Defender or Jeep or Wrangler or whatever, that's up to you. Some people split hairs over this, mostly people online. That's where people get kind of uppity about this stuff. But in person, everybody loves my build and what I did with it. And you know, you can do it too. I have mounted and installed all the lights and the plastics at this point before I went to paint. I just wanted to make sure everything was perfect. Everything goes together, comes apart nicely. So I did all that. I sent the bumpers, of course, when I had it painted and the step rails all out for powder coating. The 2008 paint was old. I decided to paint the entire vehicle. As far as, you know, badging again on the front, you do what you want. If you want to put Land Rover up there or Defender, if you want to put the badge on there. I wanted to, because I think it's great. I love the vehicle. It's freaking awesome. Really reliable. The Land Rover guys make jokes all the time about how it's probably more reliable than their Land Rover, and it obviously it is and I can get it fixed locally when something happens. So this build, I decided to put the fog lights underneath the uh, bumper instead of through the bumper, because I had that half inch steel plate to deal with. I didn't want to do all that cutting. And I just like the looks of it. Came out really, really nice. Very, very happy with this build. And if you've gotten this far, you'll need to fabricate inner fenders out of the ABS plastic sheet. That was in the uh, parts list. You know, I don't have any I don't have directions on this, but you know, if you've gotten this far, you can definitely figure out how to fabricate some inner fenders and get everything reasonably watertight up there. I actually cut the original inner fenders more than what is shown in these pictures uh, as a starting point, and because I already have holes, and, and that worked out really, really great for me. When finished, I can tell you that you and you are gonna love this vehicle. Fun to drive. When you get close to it, you realize it's a Jeep and it's that much better. So I, I really feel like I got the best of both worlds. So any questions, guys, feel reach out to me, either through YouTube or the website, appanon.com. And I hope to see you on the road, man. Bye.